Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more FTL with the Bulwark. We have taken a lot more damage than I'm comfortable with and we need to repair. But we have managed to improve our weapon arsenal a fair bit, which I am certainly happy with. So let's explore a little bit. Uh, we'll need to get some fuel, we'll need to get some repairs at a store. If we can find anything better, you know, great. This is a terrible deal by the way, so we're not going to do that. There's a store. Um, we can circle back around to this. Let's go down this way, I guess. Oh, good. Solar Flare and, yep, Hamantis. Okay. Well, these guys are fun to deal with. And they're going to teleport across and hurt me. Okay, we're going to go up here and fight you, I guess. Um, we can always pull back later as needed. I don't need oxygen. Let's go ahead and try dodging his shots. 40% chance is certainly nice. He stunned everybody in the room, which is hilarious. Flat gun. Fire? Can he actually hit me? I don't know if he can actually hurt me or not, but with his weapon system down, he's definitely not going anywhere. Alright, everyone go back where you belong. We'll heal up in a little bit. Um, okay, so Solar Flare. I'm going to go ahead and start preemptively venting the central corridors out into space so we'll be able to put out fires quickly, hopefully. As long as I don't, you know, hit my Mantis right now. Close. Didn't quite. Mantis is safe, at least for now. I'm going to take out your teleporter because I don't want you coming back. There we go. Alright, that was alright. 44 scrap. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna need to have some people heal up, I guess. Uh, you guys would probably enjoy a little trip down to the med bay. How's everyone's stats? Max piloting, max engines. Not quite at max weapons, but man, that's gonna be nice. Still not even close to max shields. Mm -hmm. We need to jump before that solar flare becomes a problem. Run! Please, no combat. I'm injured. Eh, what do you know? No combat. For some reason, this must be a welcome refuge. It's almost as if the elf FTL gods have heard my pee. Alright, uh, let's see. So Sophia's almost at full health. Go ahead and put everything back over here to engines. Everyone run back where you belong. So I guess now we kind of have to go to the store. No good way to cycle back. We also could really use some repairs. Uh, you have the automated reloader, improving my cooldown by 10%. Which is not bad. Because that would allow me to uh, shave off, like, two seconds, for example, off my flak. And my hole laser. Like, that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. I like that. Crew members I don't care about. You have a hole beam. Very good at taking down empty sections of hull. I don't know how wide the beam is, but it does double damage on systemless rooms. Beam weapons I had not thought of. That would be good. Halberd we can't do. Because that would require three power. Don't get me wrong... Flak plus a three-powered halberd beam is really strong. The flak is great at knocking out the uh, enemy shields. And then the beam follows up and does a stinking ton of damage. I'm now actually debating whether or not it is worth getting rid of my whole laser Mark II, specifically so I can have the halberd beam. Because flak II plus a beam are super strong. This takes 17 seconds to charge, as opposed to 15 seconds for you. The beam technically will do more damage. And can hit multiple rooms. You know what? I'm selling myself on this. We're going to get rid of the whole laser mark too. And I didn't think I was going to do it, but we are. Get rid of that by the halberd beam. Those two are going to be on, like, permanently if I can. I'm also going to sell the rock plating for 40 scrap. And we're going to buy the automated reloader because it's really good. Then we are going to buy some health and a little bit more fuel. And that's going to have to be good enough. We'll save the rest for now. So let's turn on that halberd beam. Yeah, these two are going to be great. So the flak is now down to... It says 21 seconds. I assume it's now only like 19. And then it gets reduced even further with our improved weapon skill. So that's good. We're still not even at a single level of shield skill. Like, that's another reason of having some survivability issues. In fact... I actually think it would be very much worthwhile to get some uh, more shield buffs. We'll go ahead and grab an extra power bar so we can keep the uh, evasion chance up at all times. But if we can get, I think it's 100 scrap, we can get two more bars here. And then if we can get another 60 scrap, we can get two more power bars here. All of that would be strong, I think. Let's go this way. Okay. We find a rebel ship that is trans uh, fit for transport, not combat. We are going to demand the surrender of their goods. They are trying to make a run for it, and they've got a flak cannon. Okay. 
Well, that's going to hurt. Um, we'll set up our Flak 2 and our Halber Beam to target all of the... Wait. You can get a pretty good surgical strike. There we go. Look at that. That's going to do a load of damage. Try to take out his drones, his shields, and his weapons if possible. Flak, go out. Got it. Burn! Wow, look at that. Yeah! Halber Beams. They're good. Okay, we do find a drone, drone part and 31 more scrap. All right, sure. Uh, let's go up this way. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That's not bad. Halberd Beam, man. It's it's good. Oh, good. A Rebel Scout with zero shields. It is trying to run away, and of course, it can cloak. We're going to need a faster charging weapon. How about the Artemis um, and the Hole Laser? Can't do anything while it cloaks, so I suspect this thing's going to get away and warn the Rebels, which is a huge problem for me. That is a long cloak, dude. My gosh. All right. Can we please get anything up and running? Can I take out your engines? Amazingly enough, yes. We somehow are still able to do this. Okay. Well, then in this case, use the halberd beam and cut them apart. There you go. That worked out. 24 more scrap, a little bit more fuel. All right. Turn back on that flak. Uh, let's go down this way. Start heading toward that exit. Kind of circle around there. Could still use more fuel. Nothing over here. Just a bunch of wrecks. Fine. Let's go this way. Pulsar? Ugh. Okay, and a teleporting rebel ship. Crap. Alright, let's vent a lot of things out into space in preparation for this, because this is gonna this is gonna hurt. Anywhere where I currently don't have somebody stationed, we're gonna go ahead and reduce the oxygen. Uh pulsar. Oh, okay, wait a minute. You have a beam you have a halberd beam, and there's a pulsar capable of taking out my shields. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, this is a big problem. We could die here. Because we're not going to have any shields to protect against a really good weapon. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is definitely a problem. I'm going to wait a little bit. Try to draw him into this fight. Then we're going to run. Flak. Fire. We need to take out that weapon. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. He took out my halberd beam. Artemis weapon. Missiles. Freaking save me. Oh, God. God, I freaking hate these pulsars. Okay. We're out of oxygen. I can't close doors. Oh, crap. I have no oxygen generation. Okay, run. Try to repair that. Fire Artemis. Save me, save me, save me. Take out that weapon. He's trying to run. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. We got his halberd beam down. That's huge. Flat gun. Take everything else out. Hit him. Don't let him run. Ah! Okay, fire the Artemis. Get his engines down. I don't want him running. Surrender. You still get to hurt me. Ah, oh, I was hoping that maybe by accepting a surrender, we wouldn't take any more damage. All right, that may have been a little bit too much to hope for, I admit. <sighs> okay. We're alive. We're in a, I would call this a little bit of an awkward position where I need to repair these doors, like, now before we suffocate. And we're about to suffocate. Okay. Can you repair this thing at all in time? Oh, I question this. Can you? Please repair. Please repair. Please repair. Please repair. Please repair. Okay, we got it. Okay. Close doors. Let the oxygen regenerate. That was a rough fight. I was probably way rougher than it had any business to be, but the pulsar kind of screwed me over. All right. O2 is returning up to what I would call acceptable levels. You guys should be able to run safely down here and get healed now. Oh, all right. All right. All right. We're alive. Um, I'm going to need to get to another store and heal up again. Or, you know, if the game wants to be so kind as to give me a repair, uh, repair event, that would be, you know, awesome. I'll take it. All right. Uh, I need you to go and repair the sensor system. You're healed. You can go and repair our shields. We're safe for now. Just need to sit here repair for a bit. No danger to us otherwise. Pulsars, I, I, usually they aren't a big problem for me, but you know, every once in a while you have something like this where the enemy has a really good beam weapon and just starts ripping you apart. Literally. It's real scary, man. It's boopy. My weapons got knocked out too. Jeez. All right, jump. Uh, we're going to go down, uh, let's say, this way. Find a store, please. Let me heal up. I need health. 
Okay, we have found a really dangerous mantis ship by the legendary thief Kazak Plethkilik. Your crew look fighting. Uh, attempt to hail him? Sure, mantis crew member. They step forward. He and Kazak Plethkilik perform a weird kind of alien haka. You, meanwhile, have to charge your battle system. Oh, God. All right. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. Um, yes, and now he's teleporting across. Where? Where'd he go? Hang on. Vent to space. Down here. All right. Vent to space. I need my shields. My pulsar is kind of still messing with me here. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, we're going to get our shields back up. Ooh, that was close. All right. Hopefully the halberd beam still is able to make something fun happen. We're going to kind of have a repeat situation here. I'm going to have to move Fleshy somewhere else. Okay, wait. He's running away. Can't close that door, but we're fine on oxygen. Fire the flak. And then... How do I want to do this? Uh, can the halberd beam hit multiple targets like this? No. Definitely want to hit the weapons. I'd like to take out your crew teleporter. Your crew teleporter annoys me. And I definitely would like to take out your shields too, but still. Your burst weapons are a potential threat. Uh, of course you teleported back across. Well, you're going to be in for a fun surprise. Fire the flak. Okay, burst lasers are scary. Um, let's hit his engines in med bay and stuff. There we go. He's almost dead. Just need a little bit more. And we'll get him. Fire the flak. Okay, he's running away. We'll let the oxygen recharge. Flax out. And we've got him. All right. So, we finished. And his... Yeah, we got the corpse of his ship. And some sort of great mystery was resolved. Or unresolved. What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to, like, stun his ship or something? Was that a quest? It was definitely a thing. Uh, okay, well. Got that. Uh, let's see. I need to get some shields and some more power. I'll go ahead and turn on the med bay at least temporarily. We'll let our mantis heal up real quick, and then we can put some more power into the shields for defense. Which is good. Okay. Pull out of that, pull out of that. Third bar of shields done. Improves my survivability a lot. I guess we're going to go to the distress beacon. Hope it's not too distressing. Once you arrive, FTL Navigation's gone haywire. We can't plot a course. I will gladly lead you. Thank you for 22 more scrap, you fool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get one more power bar so we can have evasion chance. So now we have three bars of shields and 40% evasion. Now we have to get to the exit. We've got a little bit of fuel, at least. Plenty of missiles, too. I need to find a use for those. Let's see. You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade. We could always improve your reactor. I absolutely agree to this. Thank you for the free reactor power. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, sure. Free upgrades are great. Let's go to the next sector. Rebel Stronghold? Ugh, okay. Now, if you have not unlocked... What's it called? What's the big ship that has the, the giant super weapon laser? Ah, crud, we did it once before. Either way, I think that this is where you unlock it, I think, is the Rebel Stronghold. There's like a shipyard event where you can unlock it if you uh, destroy everything there. All right, the Rebels are absolutely going to be everywhere around here. Um, we will use the Nebula to our advantage as much as we can. Let's keep in mind that my hull is uh, a little low. We jump in the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated. We could search the wreckage. I will try. We got a weapon, the Ion Charger. And 40 more scrap. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, hang on. So the Ion Charger requires 2 power. This could potentially fire 3 shots of Ion. Is this worth anything to me? It doesn't take long to charge. In every 18 seconds, well, less because of my upgrades and stuff, we'd be able to fire off 3 Ion shots that would keep something stunned for a while, including their shields. But then again, I'm already okay on flak and stuff. I'll hold on to this, but I think I'm going to end up selling that. But hey, it's good to know that that's a thing. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and go to the store next. We'll need some uh, healing anyway. Let's see what we got. Okay, I don't have drone control. Could buy that. Don't see a point. Hacking is nice. Um, it's only going to be able to do so much, though. 
So this is worth 25 scrap. I still think that the whole laser is probably going to be better for me overall. I mean, three ions, okay. But I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather just sell this. So we're going to get rid of you, and then we are going to buy some fixes. And repair my ship, like, a lot. Okay. Doop, doop. Doop. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Everything's up and running. We're healthy-ish. How do I get to the quest? I have to go the long freaking way around? Alright. Glad I checked that. I mean, we're not doing terribly. We're not doing great, but we're not doing terribly. Um, I could really use, like, cloaking or something. Some subsystem like cloaking would be fantastic for me. Okay, they're powering up their FTL. Do I think I'll be able to fire off flak in time? Yes. Especially since I can't fire missiles, you have defense drones. You have a defense drone Mark II, actually. You can even shoot down lasers. That's going to be fun. But can you deal with five flak projectiles? I don't think so. What are you bombing me with? Stop it! Fire. Okay. Let's try taking out... Hang on. Can I take out his piloting and his engines? Because then he's definitely not going anywhere. Got it. Okay. He shouldn't be going anywhere for at least a little while. My shields are protecting me. So we're okay. His bomb fortunately missed. Gotta love that 40% evasion chance. It's so helpful. Increases my odds of survival by a wide margin. Okay, shields are out. And you're dead. Love the halberd beam. It's so strong, man. 45 scrap. Boom! Alright. No fuel, though. <laughs> that is a potential problem. Okay, um, we could upgrade our engines again. Wouldn't mind upgrading things like doors and stuff. I think I really want to upgrade weapons, because it's going to increase my survivability in a lot of fights going forward. So that's going to be important for me. Uh, populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship. Yes, let's respond. Great, I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is a days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier. They will tip me generously? Mm, if you say so. Alright, thank you for the drone parts. We have another quest. It's right here. Well, we're going to do this one first. I don't have much fuel, so uh, this is a problem. That did not help. We got an augment, a reverse ion shield. Protects your ship from ion damage, giving you a 50% chance to negate it entirely. The thing is, this actually would be helpful um, in the final fight. I don't think it is fair for me to get rid of the scrap recovery arm, though. Here's the problem. I can't get to that quest. I don't have enough fuel, and if I backtrack, I know there's no more fuel to be had. So I have to pray that there's fuel right here. We will shield our ship. We take some damage. Thank you for the five fuel. Okay. Now I have to go this way, because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, this is a weird area. Oh, good. Things are on fire. Hey, we found our thing again. Man, I wish I could sell that. Okay, we need to go and uh, repair, actually. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put out the fires, please. Stop letting it damage my engines, dang it. Put out the fire. Thank you. Um, okay. I still... Oh, God, I have to go to the quest. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem, isn't it? This is a huge problem, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. We're in a... We're in a... We're in a bit of trouble. Okay. Um, you guys go heal up for a second. Okay. Looking good. Back it up. Okay. I can now also get my whole laser up and running. So we've got three weapons at the same time now. Oh, freaking heck. We have to do the quest, but we have rebels no matter what. There's no way to get around it. Oh, no. All right, we have to do it. Here we go. Here we go. Rebels are in the way. <sighs> um, it was my only option. Let's go ahead and start venting them into space. Good chance that we're going to get hit by the fleet. You've got a halberd beam. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. And you've got more people you're sending across? Okay. Sure, no, a mantis can handle your humans. All right, fire. I need to take out your weapons and stuff. And your shields and stuff. Hang on. 
Can I hit all of this? The answer is yes. Okay. That'll help. A lot of his guys are taking a lot of damage. We're gonna get hit by his, uh, his fleet. Not a whole lot we can do. Ow! There's the breach. Not a lot I can do about it. Fire the flak. Okay, fire that. Fire all of you. He's dead. Alright, we'll be able to jump out of here. That's good. We get some fuel, and there's no way to continue my quest. Run! <laughs> ah. Bad map. Didn't realize how bad that was going to get. All right, Rebel Scout has been waiting for me. Fun. Um, there's like no power, so um, ooh, uh, uh. Artemis, dodge chance. I'm gonna have to try to take out his missile system, or I suppose I could target his shields instead and pray that that works. Okay, we we are gonna rely heavily on our dodging chance here. Um, I don't know if I can beat these guys right now. Okay, try taking out his weapons. Nope, we missed completely. Okay, no, that's fine. Run. Oh gosh, this ion storm's a problem. Weapons. Okay, still wasn't enough to take that out. You need to run. Okay. Uh, wait. There's a breach in there. Wait, close the doors. Oh crap. No, come back. Come back up here. Okay, try knocking out those shields. Come on. Ah! Alright, this is a serious issue here. Need to take out those missiles. Oh, freaking heck. I do not want to be taking damage right now. Freaking heck! Stop missing! Ah! Okay, he's trying to run away. Okay, he did four damage because, you know, it's a whole missile. And now... Oh, crap. Alright, I accept your surrender. I needed the fuel anyway. And I don't think I was going to be able to kill you in time, so that worked out well, in a sense. Don't die. We'll come and repair that in a minute. You go fix. Jeez, man. All of a sudden, it's gotten a lot more stressful. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, my oxygen is low. I guess I would need some oxygen, wouldn't I? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, freaking run. Get out of there. Go heal up. Rock, go finish it up. Stupid hole breaches. Ugh! One wrong turn, man. One wrong turn without a map. That's all it dang well takes. <laughs> this is fun, though. This is fun. This is legitimately fun. Alright, um... Cool. So, no more plasma storms, please, because I cannot really afford to be at low power. Everyone go back to your positions. We are ready to jump to, let's say, the store. I need fuel and repairs anyway. Man, I want that cloaking. None of that's useful to me. Buy some fuel. Repair. At least a bit. That's going to be good enough. Alright, we're ready to go to the exit. We can barely get there before the Rebels do. Just barely. There's nothing over here, sweet. For once, it's nice and quiet and calm. Gosh, dang. Alright. Uh, we can have three weapons up. I need to remember that. That's important. Alright. Next sector, Uncharted Nebula? Sure, why not? There can only be so many horrible things in a Uncharted Nebula. We're going to go ahead and end this video here because uh, we're already at 24 minutes and we only got a couple of sectors left to go. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Rough though that was. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.